Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a brand new video for Kindergarten 2. My name is Matt, and today we'll be doing the story mission, uh, the Potties Guard? I think that's what it's called. It is... Oh, the Hitman's Potty Guard. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so we will be going through with the guide just because of the fact it's a lot easier to follow through the story because this game will loop me around forever. I learned that in the first series and yeah, while nothing is really spoiled for me, I still get to experience it for the very first time. So the guide says that there's nothing to note in the first ever area, so we won't really care about it and we'll move on to the schoolyard at the start of the day. The one thing I do like is that I always start with five dollars that is pretty legit all right so to do this in the schoolyard you need to complete a number of things to get the potty guards mission rolling do the following steps to begin the mission speak to felix i told you already teddy the plan is foolproof just do exactly what i told you and i know it's just i don't know felix I, it's just i don't know felix this whole thing seems so wrong ozzy hasn't done anything to us it'll be fine quit being such a <clears throat> how long have you been listening to our little chit chat not very long good i wouldn't want to let ted over here get in trouble hey why would i get in trouble i didn't do anything which is just so typical for you teddy <sighs> I'll sit. I'll just save our family's company myself. Good luck with that. Now we speak to Teddy. Oh, hey, I'm Ted. Why aren't you in on Felix's plan? Because he's a good for nothing disgrace to the family's name. I'm sorry, Felix. I just want to help. I can't do this. Or I can do this. Maybe I can explain better during morning time. I'll be in the regular class. The stupid class. <sighs> The stupid class. If you want to talk then. All right, see you then. Okay, cool. Can't wait to get started. Now that I think about it, we can start now. What are you trying to accomplish? Just help me with this one part and I'll leave and I'll tell you the rest during morning time, okay? All right, what do you need? Well, we're going to need to distract Ozzy in the morning time. Talk to him to see if you can figure out what draws his attention. Okay. And I'm going to need someone who can start or who can stage a fight with. Probably a girl. Although the rezoning, I'm not sure if there's any in the... Um, dumb class. Teddy, you can't pull us off. I'll handle it. Let it go. I'm gonna try. You'll see. Next up, I need to buy a battery from Monty for $2. Uh, yeah, battery. $2. Next, I need to tell C uh, tell Cindy, Teddy, Teddy needs her help and she'll give me gum to give to Teddy. Teddy needs your help with something. Oh, how for I've only been here for like five seconds and I'm already being a, a proposition. Yeah, wow, how amazing. Well, then I'll just go through those little tests. Here's some gum. If it makes it way to another girl's hair, then it's a date. I'll tell him. I don't like it when a man keeps me waiting. I want it done before the bell rings. Chop, chop. Give gum to Teddy. So if there's a girl you can set me up with. Yep. Ew. What, what did you give me some chewed gum? Stick it in the girl's hair. What? That's so mean. But my plan. Will this go girl. Will this girl go along with my plan if I do this? I think so. Okay. I guess I'll just stick it in Carla's hair. Why not Penny? No. I mean, Carla is mean sometimes. And she deserves gum in her hair more than Penny. So I, I'm really sorry about this, Carla. Sorry about what? You haven't done any oh so that's how it's gonna be well you just made an enemy i made an enemy ted i'll watch you back if i was you i'm really sorry but i have to do this elaborate plan to get away from me oh man she seemed really mad i feel terrible this is your plan i know but you can just go over there and see if she's okay maybe we can make it up to her later Let's see what i could do oh that was wonderful you're gonna be an excellent boyfriend yeah okay it's all coming together i'll see you in morning time good grief teddy it's fine felix my plan will work you'll see monty leaves Ugh. what the heck is wrong with ted just came up and stuck gum in my hair anything i can do to help that's nice kid i appreciate it could use some scissors to cut the crude out of my hair where can i get those upstairs but since you're in less gifted class it would be easier for you to get them at lunch thanks kid here's a vending machine coupon i would do it myself but i'm not allowed to use the machine anymore after i started counterfeiting these cool okay that's interesting <laughs> that's the bell everyone gets your assigned classrooms and the dumb class we have miss applegate telling us to be quiet okay in the classroom we speak to teddy oh good you're here felix has some scheme that is going to help our family's company but i have a better one and no one else wants to listen to it well what is it i'll tell you but he got to promise not to tell anyone felix will be so mad if his plan 
plan gets ruined and it's my fault. I won't tell anyone. I want to use you to kill Ozzy. Why Ozzy? Well, you see, um, Felix said it's because... I actually don't know. I think it has something to do with our inheritance. Your inheritance? Yeah, Felix and I are getting, getting a large sum of money when we turn 18. Felix says a dumb kid like me wouldn't know what to do with it. And maybe he's right. Don't say that. Thanks, I appreciate that. So how do we kill him? Well, I want to give I want to give him an asthma attack. He uses his inhaler a lot and he keeps it in his cubby. Why do we need Cindy? We're going to need a long distraction. I figured I could pretend a fight or something to draw the teacher's attention so you can grab it. Let's get that inhaler. Right, but we should probably first handle Ozzy. Uh, got something to distract him with? Yep. Oh, good thinking. He'll move to the other side of the class to play with the Destructron. Give him that battery and he'll go... And then we'll go talk to Cindy. Oh, Nugget's here with his arm missing. <laughs> and he's got his fidget spinner. Oh, <laughs> Destructotron was the best toy in my box. My friends and I used to play with it all the time before the new kids came in. It's too bad, Ozzy. What, I can't? Okay, what's the best toy? Well, yeah, but now he's out of batteries. No friends, no toys. You new kids are the worst. You have this battery. Wow, really thinks maybe... You aren't so bad. Yeah, maybe. I'm gonna go play over there by the toy box to see you around, kid. Okay, give battery to Ozzy. Talk to Teddy to start the distraction. All right, let's do this. Also, Felix didn't get a chance to empty his cubby before going to the smart class. There's some stuff that you might that might be worth grabbing. No, 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 the money is in my cubby. Felix is right of Ozzy's. Anyway, let's get with the distraction. Take Teddy, talk to Cindy. I love this doll. She's so pretty, just like me. We need to cause a distraction. Oh, really? Sorry, sweetie, but I only do something from... Uh, like that for my boyfriend. Ted will be your boyfriend. Yeah, remember? We, we put on a show to distract the teacher. He, he, oh yeah, that's my kind of date. Are you ready to go then? He is. Yeah, let's go. You ready to grab that inhaler, kid? Follow me, boyfriend. We're about to have our first spat. Are you ready, sweetie? Ready for what? You haven't told me anything. Just play along. I've done this a million times. Play along with what? This doesn't... How dare you? Ow. That hurt. You're a jerk. Well, there's more than that came from. Hey, Cindy, stop. Knock it off right now. She's like kind of punching the kid. Oh, we need to take the inhaler. Do I need to take... Oh, okay. Okay, I'll stop, but I'll kill him if he ever does that again. Not good enough for you, little brat. You're going to study hall after this little incident. It was worth it. Worth it. Did you get it? Yeah, I got it. Awesome. You're really good at this. Thanks. Now what? Now we uh, took away his lifeline. We just need to stress him out enough to trigger an asthma attack. Stress him out. I see a bit particular. He likes doing things a certain way. If we can break his routines, he should start freaking out. Where do we start? Lunch. He does a lot of really specific things there. It shouldn't be hard to throw him off his game. Okay then. Attention, new kids. Here's your passbook. If you ever get adults to sign it, you're allowed in the, out in the halls. Don't get crazy ideas though. You're only allowed to use it once per day. Got it. Okay, lunch time. Oh, there you are. It's time to move forward with the next stage of the plan. What is it? What the devil are you talking to him for? What are you two doing? Oh, uh, nothing, Felix. I'm just gonna show the new kid where the forks are. Follow me, new kid. Okay, Felix can't know what we're doing. I want to do it just so the two of us only knows so that I can take the char uh, take charge of stuff. In a few minutes, Ozzy is going to leave the bathroom. They're gonna use the bathroom. You need to take the stall on the left. That's the stall he likes. It'll stress him out. That's the name of the game here. We'll just have to keep putting pressure on until he cracks. Now get to the stall before, uh, now get to the stall and wait for him. Oh, Felix is watching. Here's a vork so he don't look suspicious. Also, did you talk to Carla? Will she forgive me? She wants scissors. Of course. Well, you should probably do that while you're out as well. Okay. Uh, the next phase of the plan. To advance, you need to go to the boys' bathroom to occupy Ozzy's favorite stall. Before you could do this, head over to the lunch lady and purchase a burger for one dollar. Then take the burger and leave the room on the doors on the right. The lunch lady will stop you and sign your hall pass so you can leave. Before going to the boys' watch uh, washroom, talk to the hall monitor and give him the weed. I have one. Thanks. Go ahead. Uh, what can I do to? Let you know? I do. Here, take the weed. Once you do so, go inside the boys' washroom and occupy the left stall. Upon uh, upon doing this, Ozzy will enter the bathroom and get rather stressed out. What the? Who's in there? This is my stall. I use it every day. Come out. Come out now. I'm not done yet. Unacceptable. Everyone knows this is my stall. Hurry up and finish. Just use the other one. The other one? I'd rather die than die. Ugh. Haven't heard the last of this kid. Bye, Ozzy. Okay, now we leave the bathroom. But instead of going straight to the lunchroom, we're going to go up here and use the coupon for scissors. Uh, buy the scissors for one dollar and the bell should ring. Wait, buy the scissors? Did I not buy the- I used the coupon. Is that not what I was supposed to use? It doesn't say anything about the coupon. On the playground, you will bump into Ozzy who mentions he has another inhaler inside his locker. This messes up your plan. Have you seen my inhaler? I thought I had left it 
I uh, uh, looked at my cubby, but it's not there. Haven't seen it. Good thing I keep it back up in my locker upstairs, so I'll just use that if anything happens. Speak to Teddy. Did you hear that? He has another inhaler. Darn it. Well, it seems uh, stressed out. I take it you made it to the sol on time? Good. We can continue with the plan then. We'll just need to adapt a little. We got one thing, uh, we got some things to do. One is to find a green flower. Uh, as he's highly allergic, just seeing one should be enough to freak him out. Where can I get one? There's just a few around the school. I know one that grows in the back of the dumpster. Talk to Teddy again. Did you get that flower? Yep. Okay, so we just have to that locker and seal the back up in here. How do we do that? The only person that knows how to get into that locker, and I put gum in her hair this morning. Oh no. Well, we can smooth things over. Maybe she'll forgive me. Get in line, gringo. It's. Not, it's Oh, wow. So my turn to jump on the trampoline. We have a job for you. Is that so? And why would I be so inclined to help a kid that put gum in my hair this morning? I'm really sorry about that, but if it helps, my plan has been pretty successful. Shut it, snob. Did you get those scissors I asked for? Yes, I did. At least I got that going for me. Uh, I guess if you do one more favor for me, which is... You see that kid in the wheelchair over there? He's been making mo some moves on my turf today. I gotta show him not to do that. Here's a screwdriver. See it to it, his wheels are less than operable. No way, he'll see us. There's two of you. One of you pretend to buy something from the little fence, er, from the little fence, while the other one sneaks one uh, sneaks behind and pops a screw. It's not that complicated. We'll got it. Come to see me when it's done. We'll do. Uh, I guess we have to do this. We have to further disable the cripple. I feel sick. You're trying to kill another kid. That's different. I know Felix has a good reason for. Never mind. Let's just get over with it. Before we do, if you want to buy or sell stuff, you should probably do it now. I'll doubt he'll be in the mood after we ruin his day. Good idea. Sell the inhaler to Monty, then bring Teddy over to destroy his chair. I'm ready now. Do my best. Yes. Oof. Oh, no, 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 no. What happened to my chair? This sucks. Why is this happening to me? Oh, my. I, uh, I'll let you get yourself together. We'll talk later when you're, um... Not on the floor. Just get out of here. <laughs> Nugget's still just bleeding. <laughs> oh, well done. A deal's a deal. I will see that Ozzy's locker is open by the time you get to it. You grab the inhaler for us? That's not part of our deal. You only set the locker. You're gonna have to grab whatever you want out of it by yourself. Okay, I feel pretty bad about that, but it was necessary. Sure it was. It's almost time to get the actual job now. Are you ready for the big moment? When the bell rings, pay the lab fee and go to the science. That, that's where... Ozzy goes after recess. Once you're there, cause a distraction, sneak out. Grab the inhaler out of its locker, and once you have it, show Ozzy the flower. He should fall apart and die. Sounds like a plan. Felix and I will meet you after school. If this goes well, you'll be handsomely rewarded. Finally, just one more class, and then I get to go home. Anyone wants to pay the lab fee can go to the science classroom. Everyone else meet in the gym. Welcome to science class. Today's lesson will be about plants. Please observe the common plant in front of you. Notice how rather car well, it's neither carnivorous or poisonous because the PTA is a bunch of cowards. So, in science class, you need to cause a distraction. This is done by enlisting the help of Cindy. Inspect and note the electrical outlet beside the computers. If you heal, you need a distraction. Like what? Let's see what I can do. Tell Cindy about the outlet and give her the fork. Neat. Okay. We're going to use the electrical outlet. The outlet is going to create a distraction. Stick this into it. What's that? What's that going to do? Make a distraction. If you insist, but I want that flower before I do anything else. Once the distraction occurs, leave the classroom and enter the hallway. Okay, here. Okay, goody. Here comes the distraction. Hey, Dr. Danner, look what I'm doing. What? Wait, what are you doing? That's not a good idea. You new children are dumber than the monkeys whose brains I removed. Okay, nobody move. I'm sure the power will be back on soon. Okay, once you have the inhaler, return to science class. Back at science science class, investigate the what the remains are of Cindy. So I grab the flower back. Let's take the flower. And I got her outfit. Okay. Ah, uh, here we go. Everyone get back to doing science. And now, go away, kid. I'm trying to learn about plants. Well, check this plant out. Act no, get away from me. Gosh, I think I'm having an asthma. Give him some room. Damn it, Ozzy. We've been over this. Where's your inhaler? In my locker. Please hurry. Well, Ozzy, I have some bad news. It's not there. So it looks like you're going to die here. But don't worry. It won't be in vain. If you sign this on the dotted line, I'm semi-legally allowed to use your body for science. I'll just forge it for, you, uh, for him. It's what he would have wanted. Good news, everyone. We suddenly came into possession of a cadaver. Tomorrow's lesson will be on anatomy. 
<laughs> oh, Jesus. I just noticed the body count on today's class have been slightly higher than average. Perhaps we could end the day a little early. Everyone go home. Oh, no. There he is, Felix. I told you he would do it. I, I didn't see Ozzy come out of school. Did you really do what my brother was suggesting? Yep, fascinating. Mm, well done. This is exactly what I wanted. Yes, exactly. I knew we could do it. And you did it all without and we did it all without your help. Yes, I'm sure Father will be quite proud. Give him his reward. Give him the thing. Oh yes. Um, here you are. What is it? It's a pin from our company. It represents that you are a trustworthy ally to our family. Oh cool. Say Teddy, would you mind telling the driver I'll be a minute? I just need to talk to our new friend here. Sure thing, Felix, before I go, take this Monster Mon card. Kind of looks like Ozzy did before he, um, stressed Llama. Oh dear, what a mess. A mess? This wasn't supposed to happen. Ozzy was not supposed to die. You didn't want him dead? Goodness, no. I wanted Ted dead. Perhaps we could discuss this matter tomorrow? Perhaps. Excellent. Good day to you, Hitman. Oh no! Hitman's potty god! Unlocked, and we got the prestigious pin. Neat! And two new clothes, and one Monster Mon card. But why Why does Ted have to die? That doesn't make sense. Your Monster Mon collection is coming along great. Looks like you have enough cards to make a full deck. Is it neat? Open your Monster Mon uh, card and build a deck. When you have a full deck, you can challenge any of the kids for Monster Mon battles during recess. Should I? Okay. <laughs> That's that episode. <laughs> when we return, we will be doing the fourth uh, mission of the game called Opposites Attract. This should get a couple of things for us unlocked and we'll be able to make more headway into the missions. So we can see in the mission map, Opposites Attract right here with Penny and Bugs. If you can dodge a nugget, you can dodge a ball. I don't know. And then there's Kane's Not Able. So we'll be doing these three in the next few episodes. Kind of excited. I'm so glad that I have a guide because I wouldn't be able to figure any of this crap out. So yay. <laughs> Anyways, guys, that's going to be it for me. Hope you guys enjoyed this uh, episode of Kindergarten 2. And until next time, I hope you have a great day. See you later. Peace.